Excellencies and distinguished uh, ministers, uh, colleagues, friends, uh, good morning. Uh, this is a very big event. Uh, first time for me to attend uh, the minister meeting from uh, Latin American region. Uh, it's a great honor for me to uh, speak uh, in front of you today uh, on a few issues. Uh, I am very, very happy that uh, today's uh, meeting could be convened uh, together with the uh, least developed countries minister meeting and also 15th General Conference of UNIDO, uh, which will be held tomorrow. So uh, this is a very important moment, very happy moment for us to discuss how to explore the uh, potentials for development, for growth, uh, for this region, and also for least developed countries, and for UNIDO, how to provide assistance to all the member states. Uh, so I'm very, very happy that uh, you, ministers, your excellencies, could join us for this uh, big event. And uh, now there's a big issue facing by all the member states, how to develop economy, particularly uh, addressing the importance of industrial production and the trade for inclusive and sustainable economic growth in the region, uh, with a special reference to the contribution of innovation and technology transfer for sustainable industrial development and the role of UNIDO in this contest. Uh, I uh, just uh, will let, let you know, Your Excellencies, that the uh, issue paper has been prepared and uh, distributed with some topics that will be worth discussing. And uh, for LAC region, I believe the region has a huge potential to economically advance in the next decade. Its natural resources, population, and the labor force and the regional market will only strengthen region's power. And uh, in terms of its economic, political, and uh, cultural integration, over the last decade, manufacturing indicators in the region, lack region, and the uh, GDP have uh, gone not very high and uh, because of economic situation caused by financial crisis. Now, to enhance industrial development in Latin America and the Caribbean, the regional integration must be reinforced. Collectively, countries can deal with the structural problems, structural issues such as the deficient infrastructure, insufficient workers' qualification, low standards of investments in research and development, innovation, and a minimal level of competitiveness and the productivity and the excessive time needed to create a new business, those kind of issues already being effectively tackled, but we still need to move ahead with the new challenges. And there's a growing consensus that countries in Latin America and the Caribbean need to develop proactive industrial policies at the national and the regional levels. And the UNIDO is ready to support all of you in this effort. And uh, during the trip to Mexico, Brazil, and now in Lima, I listened very carefully all the suggestions and uh, proposals for the economic growth, industrial development in this region. I been very impressed to learn that uh, the new developments, new efforts being made in this region. And uh, UNIDO now is working on the new target, new vision. Your Excellencies, friends, you all know that uh, ICID 
inclusive and a sustainable industrial development as our new goal. And uh, this stands for inclusiveness that all the countries, all the people have the opportunity to promote industrial development, to develop the manufacturing. And at the same time, they can share the prosperity and the benefits out of this process. And no one is left behind benefiting from the industrial growth and the prosperity is shared among all parties of the society in countries. That is uh, our goal. And uh, at the same time, we should also pay attention to the sustainable sustainability of the industrial development. We should incorporate those important factors like uh, energy efficiency and uh, we would like to produce more with less and uh, less emission and uh, clean production technologies, etc. This uh, industrial development should be sustainable. And uh, this is a new goal of UNIDO. We are working on that. And uh, after extensive consultation among the member states, including Your Excellency's uh, efforts, now we are going to reach the final moment to pass the new declaration, which contains ISID, ISID. And uh, you need uh, would like to work with uh, the member states, particularly in this region, and uh, try to strengthen the partnership and the network. Networks pro for prosperity and uh, promote and advance innovation and technology and the South-South and the triangular cooperation as a complementary solutions to more traditional forms of the North-South and the multi-stakeholders industrial cooperation. Suitable institutional capacities and the enabling infrastructure and the vibrant private sector in particular and a conducive business environment and a partnership with all related stakeholders. We are aiming at a stronger partnership. The partnership with the UN family members and a partnership with multilateral development institutions, World Bank, regional development banks, those foundations, and a partnership particularly with private sectors. And uh, they are very dynamic. They will provide enormous financing, efforts, investment to the member countries in this region. So we should work very closely with them and uh, try to build a stronger partnership. Promoting you need a high level dialogue platform for LAC region. A regional platform for coordinating and uh, articulating UNIDO's intervention to support the industrialization in this region. And the experience of the Conference of African Ministers Industry, CAMI, a uh, successful case maybe could uh, be shared by this region and the other region as well. So this kind of uh, in, in, ministerial meeting uh, to be held every year discussing the importance of industrial development, discussing how to promote the effective manufacturing to support the growth, create jobs, create wealth for the people, and uh, also share the experience among the ministers. I really hope that uh, this kind of uh, uh, mechanism forum, or we call minister meeting, could be establishing this region and uh, also other regions as well. And uh, my final conclusion, ministers, your excellencies, friends, and this is an important occasion 
for us to discuss the important issue, how to have the growth, how to deal with the new challenges will be encapsulated in the post-2015 development agenda. And we understand challenges always there because the eradication of poverty is a paramount task for international community. But we how to build a capacity, sustainable development, as the Secretary General of UN call upon all the countries to maintain the sustainable growth and sustainable development. I strongly believe industrial development with uh, inclu inclusiveness and uh, sustainability is uh, one of useful tools to generate income to promote the sustainable growth and the development. So this is a topic, only one topic for us to discuss during the ministerial meeting here held today. I really hope that uh, we could uh, discuss uh, open exchange and uh, share the experience and uh, reach some conclusion. And then uh, we will have action program and we will move ahead with uh, this kind of uh, programs. So I really hope that uh, we could uh, have successful ministerial meeting. And uh, also, I just would like to commit to all of you, ministers, excellencies, you need to is ready to assist member countries in this region. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.